Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're looking at a fantastic watch from Baumann Mercier with the Clifton Baumatic, this one specifically with a green dial. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldessar.com as an authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout the video, have further questions, looking to buy the watch, check out the link in the description to the product page. We can learn a lot more. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. So starting with a bit of background, Baum & Mercier was founded back in 1830 in Switzerland, with the brand now residing underneath the larger umbrella of Richemont, a collection of watchmakers that includes JLC, Longa, Vacheron Constantin, IWC, and Cartier, just to name a few. Baum & Mercier aims to act as a gateway to luxury option with an emphasis on their value for dollar, both in terms of their finishing as well as their impressive selection of in-house calibers. Now, despite offering some of the more powerful propositions in terms of value within their segment, b and manages to fly a bit under the radar for many enthusiasts out there, an aspect that can be quickly changed once you get a chance to actually handle one of their watches in person. Now, today we're going to be looking at a watch that I think is one of the most underrated in its class with the Clifton Baumatic, a classically styled watch with a striking green gradient dial powered by a COSC certified in-house caliber equipped with a five-day power reserve. Moving into a conversation on wearing experience presented by the Clifton, we have a modest 40 millimeter diameter paired with a slender 10.9 millimeter thickness and a lug-to-lug -lug measurement of 46.6 millimeters. The wearability leans more compact than the proposed 40 millimeter might suggest, wearing like a 39 millimeter in practice with its limited verticality, assisting in dressing your environments when sliding underneath a shirt cuff. Digging into architecture and finishing, the K-shape is rounded off at the lugs and complete with a slender sloping bezel. A slim push-pull crown signed with the B&M logo is anchored to the case at three, pairing with the exhibition case back and enabling the the adequate 50 meters of water resistance for this dress watch. Along the sides of the case, we are greeted with some horizontal brushing patterns spanning the length of its structure before giving way to a transitioning polished facet across the lugs for visual interest. Set between 20 millimeter lugs is an embossed alligator style strap with thick square scales executed in black, adding a measure of refinement and contrast from the striking green dial above. Tapering to 18 millimeters, the strap terminates with a deployant style clasp complete with a two button release and a friction fit locking hatch used to size up the strap to an appropriate length. The factory strap contains unconventional curved spring bars that limit the distance of the lug end of the strap to the case, giving the Clifton a bit more of a bespoke look. That said, the strap also offers quick release functionality and the lugs have two sets of spring bar positions to create more possibilities for playing around with the aftermarket straps. Gazing through the dome sapphire crystal, we have the most visually arresting aspect of this watch as a whole, a green gradient dial that seamlessly blends vintage and modern design inspiration. Inspiration. Starting at the periphery, which is closer to black than bright green with the central surface, the dial leans into finely printed Arabic markings in stark white at the five minute positions, with each resting just outside the faceted and applied dart styled indices. At center, polished and faceted lance style hands manage time telling, slowly rotating over a prominent dial crosshair printed in white. Text is relatively low key and balanced with two lines at both 6 and 12 and a tiny brand logo just above the 12 o'clock B&M word mark. At three, a rectangular date wheel with rounded corners gives way to a black date disc that adds utility yet blending into the surrounding dial as a result of the darkened outskirts of the green primary surface. And with this being a dressier overall presentation, there is no loom to speak of on the dial. Set beneath the safety of an exhibition case back, complete with its own sapphire crystal, we have a clear view of the caliber BM13 1975A. The Richemont Group, which is also home to an established movement manufacturer, Val Florier, has massively increased its offering of in house calibers, following an industry wide trend towards higher levels of vertical integration across almost every level of the industry. With that being said, the caliber here is likely in house in much of the same way as a Tudor caliber would be, which are are produced by Kinesi or Longines Movement, which is produced by ETA. With that out of the way, the BM13 1975A inside the Clifton offers a great deal to like for its price range at around $3,000. The biggest move here is going to have an optimized escapement to have that 120 hour five day power reserve from a single barrel. In recent years, we have started to see some more standard power reserves rise. However, 120 hours is an industry leading level of power reserve for a brand in this price range, apart from something like Oris, which also will have something to say about that. Also important to note that this movement is in addition to to having this extended power reserve still operating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. The Baumatic here is regulated in 
COSC certified, offering a guaranteed level of accuracy between minus four to plus six seconds a day, with this particular example keeping time well within that range at plus two to plus four seconds when testing across five different positions. Looking beyond its technical acumen, this movement also offers at least some level of elevation in its visual aesthetics with a variety of machine finishing techniques. A skeletonized and signed rotor is complete with Geneva waves and a deeper outer edge that rotates with a channel surrounding the central bridges, which are themselves complete with micro prolage. There are a few polished screw heads, some directional graining at the base plate circumference, and other subtle hits of polishing throughout. And although the movement isn't going to be absurd in terms of its decoration, it still stacks up well against the competition here. Now to unpack looking at this watch, just some pros cons associated with the watch, and who is this one best suited for? Now let's begin with some of the cons. I think one thing that comes up is Brahman Mercier is not very well known for many enthusiasts. I think it's overlooked. So the brand equity standpoint for some, they just might be looking at somewhere else when you're looking to spend your $3,000. Water resistance, you're also looking at 50 meters rather than 100. This is a small point because I think for a dress watch, are you really looking for 100 meters? But we have seen the rise of more casual wearing attire where maybe getting that maximum flexibility might be something of interest. And you are talking about a very saturated part of the market at $3,000. There's a lot out there. And dress watch in general have fallen a bit out of favor compared to some of the sports offerings. But now looking at the pros, now the number one thing going for this watch I think has to be the movement. The movement and where it stacks up against the competition, 120 hour power reserve, COSC certified movement, that really is, for around $3,000, class leading and almost sets a standard. Finishing across the dial, the case, as well as even the movement itself, all very solid, consistent. The dial speaks for itself, in my opinion. Some might not like the crosshair. That's something that I see people mention, but the integration of the date wheel, this kind of gradient effect that you're seeing across the dial, this green is rather striking and contrasts well with the more buttoned up type of approach and no nonsense approach that the rest of the dial is going to bring forth. And then also I think you have to consider the versatility here. This is one of those watches that isn't so buttoned up where you couldn't pull this off of casual attire and vice versa. It's a great way of walking that fine line. And for somebody that's looking for a dress watch around $3,000, although it's a question that some people are probably not bringing up as much as maybe they were in the past, this is one to absolutely consider. Well, all right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. That does help out the channel. But in addition to that, if you're in the market for this watch, definitely consider teddyballister.com as a place to buy. We're an authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. And how we fund productions on this channel and our primary channel is through the selling of watches on our website, teddyballister.com. So all support, definitely appreciated. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.